Hi everybody, it's Olivia and today we are making a baby sole, which is the pattern I use for most of my baby shoes. We will be making it in the size 0 to 3 months, but you can find three additional sizes for free on my blog, thecrochetcartoon.com, and I will link it in the description so you can easily access those. Now let's get started. I'm using a DK weight yarn and an F5 or a 3.75 millimeter hook. I'm also using a tape measure, a tapestry needle, and some scissors. I'm starting off the project with a slip knot, which is just making a simple loop with your yarn. And then I'm taking my working yarn and putting it through the loop, just like this. And then I'm going to pull on my tail end to secure the loop. Now I'm just taking my hook and inserting it into the loop and pulling down tightly. Then I'm going to make nine chain stitches, which is going to be the foundation of our baby doll. And to make a chain stitch, all you do is yarn over with your working yarn and pull it through the loop on the hook. And there's chain four. five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So now I'm going to make a half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. We don't count the first chain from the hook. We always want to work into that second chain. And to make the half double crochet, we yarn over and insert our hook into that top loop of the chain and then pull up a loop so we have three loops on the hook. And then we yarn over again and pull through all three of those loops. And we're going to do that one more time into the same chain. So yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain you just worked into, not the next chain. Pull up your loop, yarn over again, and then pull through all three of those loops. And now we're going to make two half double crochet into the next chain. And now I have four half double crochets total. So next I'm going to work one half double crochet into the next five chains. And I'm going to leave the last chain unworked because we're going to do something a little bit different at the end. And there's one. two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to make six double crochets all in that last chain. So to make a double crochet, I yarn over and insert my hook. I pull up a loop. So I have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two of those loops, and then yarn over again, and pull through the remaining two. And there's my first double crochet.
two, three, four, five, six. Next, I'm working into the opposite side of my chain. And what I'm doing here is creating a mirror image of the other side. So I'm going to work opposite of my previous stitches. And I'm going to start with one half double crochet in the next five stitches. And when I make these stitches, I'm going to crochet my tail end into the half double crochet so I don't have to weave it in at the end of the project. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now, just like I did at the very beginning of the round, I'm going to make two half double crochet into the last two stitches. So here's one half double crochet, and then going into that same stitch, two. And then here I am at my very last chain. One. And now I'm going to join the round by slip stitching into my first half double crochet. So to do that, I'm just inserting my hook into my very first stitch of the round and yarning over and pulling the yarn through that stitch and then just guiding it through my loop on the hook. I'm going to begin round two with a chain one. And then I'm making one half double crochet into the same stitch that I just slip stitched into. Then two half double crochet into the next stitch. One, and one half double crochet into the next stitch. Then two half double crochet into the next stitch. There's one. And two. Now I'm going to make one half double crochet into the next five stitches. One. 
One. Two. Three. Four. And five. So next, we are going to work two double crochet into the next six stitches. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So I'm doing my first two double crochet into this next stitch. There's one. And in that same stitch, I'm working again. There's two. Then two in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. And two in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. And you guessed it, two in the sixth stitch. Okay, so now you should have 12 double crochet, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then we're just going to do a half double crochet into the next five stitches. One. Two, three, four. And five. 
In these last four stitches, we are going to work two half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, two in the next stitch, and one in the next stitch. So two, one, two, one. So there's two half double crochet. and one half double crochet. That's two half double crochet. And in our last stitch of the round, one half double crochet. To join the round, I'm going to slip stitch into our first half double crochet. And you want to make sure that you skip over the slip stitch from the previous round, because that does not count as a real stitch. It looks like a stitch and can be mistaken for a stitch, but we do not count slip stitches as real stitches that we will be working into unless stated otherwise somewhere in the pattern. For our third and final round, I'm going to begin with chain two. And this is because we are going to work this entire round in double crochet. So no more half double crochet. And this chain two does not count as an actual stitch. It is just there to lift the round to the proper height. So I'm just making one double crochet into the same stitch that I just slip stitched in. So there's my first double crochet of the round. Next I'm making two double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the next stitch. So two and two. After you finish that, you should have a total of five double crochets. One, two, Next, we will make one double crochet into the next eight stitches. One. Two. Three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Next, we're going to make two double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch. And we are going to repeat that sequence six times. So two, one, 
two one two one two one two one two one so I'm doing two double crochet in this next stitch here's one and there's two one double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochet in the next stitch. One. In two, two in the next stitch, One in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. One in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. One in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. And this is our final two double crochet, one double crochet repeat. So it is the last time that we do our two double one double group of stitches. So in that next stitch, I'm just finishing the repeat with my final one double crochet. Keep going, you're almost done. We're going to make one double crochet in the next eight stitches. One, two, three.
four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we're down to our final three stitches. So in the next stitch, we are going to work two double crochet. And in the next stitch, we are also going to work two double crochet. So two and two. So there I am just finishing up my first two. And then I'm starting my second two double crochet, both of them in the same stitch. And we're going to finish with one double crochet into that very last stitch. And make sure you are not working into that slip stitch from the previous one because the slip stitch does not count as a real stitch. Then slip stitch into the first double crochet to join the round. And now that you have completed your sole, we are just going to fasten off and I'm going to show you how to do that. So cut your yarn leaving about a five inch tail end and then just yarn over and pull that yarn all the way through the last loop. And then just tug on it slightly to tighten. Now I'm just threading my tapestry needle and I'm going to weave this tail end into the back of the sole. So I'm just going to insert it downwards and then I'm going to work horizontally into the back of these double crochet stitches. And this will conceal the tail end very nicely. And I'm just weaving it in a little bit more just to make sure that end is completely hidden. And then just cut off the end of your yarn. And your final baby sole from heel to toe should measure about 3.5 3.75 inches or 9.5 centimeters. And now that your sole is finished, you are ready to go ahead and make some baby booties.